Hi guys, just thought I'd do my last video of um, 2021, how fast that's fallen. Uh, because the fish are up at the windows. It's um, late in December, the 28th or 29th, who knows, because it just goes like Boxing Day Christmas. The fish have been really, really quiet and I just saw a quick opportunity, well, they like that, uh, just to do a little video to wish you an happy new year for 2022 and all the best. Hope you've had a great Christmas. And I'm also going to clean the window because as, as you'll see when I spin this round, a lot of condensation. This is the first the first winter with this window. So a lot of condensation builds on the window and the fish look super pretty behind it, as you can see there. But I'm just going to wipe it off and show you what it's like to have a window in the winter. Might even do a filter clean with you guys just to give you a little bit of content. So, so let me spin you around. There we go. There's the fish. So look at it now. You can see all the condensation. It actually looks quite nice, especially when Fred comes past and uh, some of the bigger fish. It looks quite nice, but we're just going to give it a quick wipe now. So let me just draw the draw it back. There we go, and you can see what it's like here now. The condensation now just clouds it up a little bit. But I'm just going to give it a quick wipe off. Like that. There I am in the reflection. But more importantly than me, there are the fish. We haven't been like this for the past few days because it's been cold. I think it's like 10 degrees today, so they started to bob around a little bit. Uh, so let's lean over. Let's see if we can see some more down there. There they are. Shouldn't have worn red top because that's interfering with it. All going round, nice and slow. Happy as Larry. I've just popped a little bit of food in, which they have shown an interest in, especially the smaller ones. The smaller ones seem to be uh, quite active during this winter time, but the bigger ones are a bit docile. But yeah, not much to see there. So if we just pop out onto the top, what I have noticed is we are getting like a green colour building on the top there uh, of the stones of the coping stones so lord knows what that will look like uh, when I do finally take this old conservatory roof off um, in January let's pop in here see if we can see anything else top down view is sort of nice it'll be nicer when I don't have to creep into this tiny little gap but yeah the fish are cracking on so one second, we just go on a nice little journey, a little walk around the garden. Uh, to this side you can see, after the other day, my expert um, insulation boards have been nicely fitted there, held in by a couple of bricks. I think that's really having an effect in keeping quite a lot of the warmth inside the actual pond. So here's where it gets a bit dangerous, bobbing over the around all the little bricks and the uneven surface. I'm just going to flip you around where we do a quick change of what flip you around where we do a quick change with the nexus. So I just have this brick on there to keep the tarp holding over the top. I'm just going to whip it back, get rid of all that water, show you how easy it is with this system. It's a fantastic system it is. So first things first, pump off. That's the pump from the bottom drain that feeds an excess. Don't need to turn that off because that's the skimmer uh, back through the UV light. Okay, so the pump's off. We're going to look seal in the chambers and turn this valve so that isolates the complete nexus is isolated now. So now all we need is this little thing that pops into this gap. And that now isolates this particular part where it does the mechanical filtration. So all the big parts that come into the chamber that get stuck in this. So what we're going to do is turn off the air to the side, turn it on to maximum in the middle. You can see the water level is very high in the pond, so this also helps it stabilise. So, yeah, you can see actually... It is, there is quite a lot of muck 
coming out despite it being winter. There is quite a lot of muck in there to roll round. Not going to need to go all the way round, but you get the idea. We leave this for like five minutes, so I'll flip you back round to me because I'm really interested. Not. You can see from this view here the setup because nobody really sees this part. If I can't zoom out on this, so nobody really sees around the back here when you're in the house. You don't need to like clad all this part because nobody sees it other than when we're doing like a little YouTube video for you guys. Um, yeah, don't really know what else to say, so we're just doing a little filter change. I'm not going to leave it for the full five minutes because we're doing this on camera. It's just a quick blast. Like a, a last drop of the year, so to speak. In fact, with the colour of the water, and you'll see this in a second, the colour of the water has completely changed. This is what this nexus does. Then little balls in the centre really hold the muck and stop it getting through. So when you do get this, in fact, let's pop it back around. I'm not like, it shouldn't keep myself on this camera. You can see, this is just, the air is just kicking it up, kicking it up, kicking it back into this chamber. So look at that. Look at all that dirt here. It hasn't been done in about four or five days. In the summer they do it a lot more, but because obviously the fish are excreting more. But just look how that water started one colour and is now a completely different colour. And it all just, yeah, gets it all mixing, throws it out these little vents at the side that I'll show you when I drop the water. So all the, all the, all the dark stuff comes to the outside. Right, let's drop it. So down here, there, is the uh, drain that's at the bottom of that chamber. So all the muck comes out of that, through this, and into the grid that's right down there. One second, I have to lean over, so this is quite lovely. So there we go, we've opened it. <coughs> and just watch this chamber drop now. You can see the water, let, water dropping now. The sound of the bubbles also changes it coming down so that's what I'm talking about it kicks all the dirt out of these chambers into this and because of this little nifty bit of gear that keeps the water level there you see inside higher than what's in here because that just keeps the good water that's in these chambers there so all of this is dropping slowly down keep the air flowing so the air keeps pumping out there until it st starts making a hissing sound because that keeps it all, all the muck moving to the outside chamber. You can see actually how dark that water is, it's ridiculously dark considering it's a winter. And the pond water is beautiful clear. You can hear there that changing sound as it goes past the last of the air vents. So what we do when it happens like that, stop the air to that chamber, move the air to this chamber. But well, there's a little bit of a trick to this because this air pump that's located under here, it feeds, there's a split on it and it feeds here and it feeds the bottom drain with the aeration coming from there. So it's about three quarters of the way around, a little bit more, I think, in this chamber. A little bit more. Uh, you can see the back there starting to bubble up properly. That's normally about right. And if you have a little look at the pond, we can see there, you can see the air's coming into the pond. So there we know we've got a good split. The pond's getting aeration and oxygen for the fish. And the ch outside chambers are bouncing. If we look down there, you can see it's all completely dropped out. We're going to give it a little swill. So it will drop there, it moves some of the stuff that might be a bit stagnant. All the stuff moves out. And then you go back. Shut the valve to the bottom drain. Open up the chamber, don't uh, take that out until this water level is equal with this water level. Otherwise, the nice water will go back into the bad chamber. Because this is, you can see there, a couple of leaves been dragged in, despite the netting being on. 
this is the bio biological filtration so that's the ammonia to nitrite to nitrate I think that's the right way around uh, basically so it's better and more healthy for the fish and not dangerous because ammonia is bad for the fish you can see it's sort of stabilized there so I'll whip this out I've already took that out and now we need to open up the return so the pump can feed the three point check is done so one out one out two out three out pump back on pumps are still set at 20 what will happen now is this will just keep dragging all these little bits stay in this chamber ready for next time they will not these little bits pass through into this center part and return to the outer chamber they'll get stuck in this and that just stays unaerated and this stays aerated let's cover her up and pop the brick gently back on the center i always ensure there's some fresh air getting in to the top because it's good to have fresh air around the top so it's not chemical chemicals out or there isn't a build up as such there and the fresh air gets to it so have a little walk round uh over the hot tub step so i don't fall over put a closer look up at the insulation boards doing their job and the old conservatory roof doing that that's job round the side and what you'll notice now is see all the fish are down they've gone away from the window and they've gone down or well, pretty much down all of them that always happens okay that always happens the fish always go down whenever there's a change in um, the vortex speed or the water going in a certain direction any change the air gets turned off anything at all the fish dive down low and they stay down low when about 10 minutes they'll come back up to the window when they get used to it and realize what's happened but any changes they disappear okay so that's a nice little video for you guys i hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks for the love and the support the likes the comments uh, putting up with stupid Grinchy video that I've done this year, uh, done at the end, done at Christmas, just for a laugh. I know there's been an unlike on it, but hey, hey oh, some people just ain't happy. Uh, yeah, thank you. I really didn't expect to have this channel or do anything with this channel or for people to be so supportive on this channel. It's been amazing. I've learned a lot. Thank you guys. Uh, please like and subscribe and have a great 2020. Rock on season 22. Woo!